When I was younger, I think for a while I wanted to be a pilot and then I got kicked out of air cadets and I was good at maths and science and I enjoyed dyeing my hair and um, understanding how the chemistry of certain things work. I think I started working in a pharmacy and from then on I wanted to make medicines. I'm Jo, I'm 25 years old, I'm doing a PhD in Organic Chemistry and Biology at the Curie Institute in Paris. I'm one of those terrible people who wake up early in the morning and I'm active early in the morning so I'll often come into the lab at 8.30 or 9. A lot of people in my lab will arrive at 10 or 10.30. The, day, the hours when I'm at work, I do experiments in the lab. So it will be organic synthesis, which is mixing liquids to create new molecules and then purifying them and analyzing their chemical structure. I work on the frontier of organic chemistry and biology. I work on chemically synthesizing new molecules, which will be used uh, in fundamental biology research. I am developing glycolipids with uh, what's called bio-orthogonal reactivity, which means that uh, we can get them to do chemical reactions specifically in cell culture. Glycolipids, it's a biomolecule found in the natural system which we don't have synthetic control over. We know how to sequence DNA, we know how to code for genes, we know how to synthetically produce all of that and glycolipids is one thing that we don't know how to produce. And I'm trying to develop techniques to synthetically reconstitute them into cell culture so that we can study what their uh, activities are as receptors. negative impact of my research is that it could be a waste of money. I could work for three years on something and it end up not being very useful. All of the hours that I spent putting in trying to synthesize this or show this mechanism works, maybe it doesn't really work or it has no use. Biological chemistry or chemical biology is a field which has separated itself from medicinal chemistry, which is the study of how to synthesize new drugs, which I uh, separated myself from because I was less interested in going to work for big pharmaceutical companies because um, I don't like the way which one can develop new drugs which show minor changes or optimizations in their effect. So new drugs which don't really work. So that's how organic chemistry, I think, can be misused. In biology and in chemistry, fundamental research, we have to publish what our research for it to be validated by the international community. However, for our work to be published, we have to show that it's novel and we have to show that it's important and that it's impactful. So it has to have a high impact on uh, our current understanding of science. And what one can do often is try and encourage the reader of your article to believe that your research has more of an impact than it really does. So you can say, this mechanism is important to breast cancer, when in fact it, it's maybe related to a protein which is maybe important in cancer, but you, you cannot show that yet. So us as researchers, we even publicise our research to say it's, this is important to this uh, cause, but it won't be important for another 30 years. I love it when people ask me about my research. There's no, there's no bad question.